As part of the Keats 200 celebration, I've been asked to respond to one of the poems taken from his third and final volumes of poetry, which was published 200 years ago in July 1820. The poem that I've chosen to respond to is Ode on Melancholy. No, no, go not to Lethe, neither twist wolf's bane, tight rooted for its poisonous wine, nor suffer thy pale forehead to be kissed by nightshade, ruby grape of proserpine. Make not your rosary of yew berries, nor let the beetle nor the death moth be your mournful psyche, nor the downy owl a partner in your sorrow's mysteries. For shade to shade will come too drowsily and drown the wakeful anguish of the soul. But when the melancholy fit shall fall suddenly from heaven like a weeping cloud that fosters the droop headed flowers all and hides the green hill in an April shroud, then glut thy sorrow on a morning rose or on the rainbow of the salt sand wave or on the wealth of globed peonies. Or if thy mistress some rich anger shows, imprison her soft hand and let her rave and feed deep, deep upon her peerless eyes. She dwells with beauty, beauty that must die and joy whose hand is ever at his lips bidding adieu and aching pleasure nigh, turning to poison while the bee mouth sips, I in the very temple of delight. Veiled melancholy has her sovereign shrine. Though seen of none save him whose strenuous tongue Can burst joy's grape against his palate fine, His soul shall taste the sadness of her might And be among her cloudy trophies hung.